The Donkey Kong series has a lot of different games to represent in Smash Brothers, and I believe there's a lot to adjust for DK and Diddy's movesets in the Smash Brothers games. First of all, there's the arcade Donkey Kong games and the Donkey Kong Land games to represent, the Donkey Kong Country series along with the Country Returns series, Donkey Kong 64 along with Donkey Konga, Donkey Kong Jungle Beat and other spin-off games. I'm personally quite happy with how King K. Rool is represented, sprinkling in bits from the Donkey Kong Country 1, 2 and 3 along with 64 in his movesets. It's pretty much the most well-rounded character for all of his appearances in the games. There are some minor adjustments I would make to K. Rool. His dash attack could be modelled after his attack in Donkey Kong Country 2 where he uses his blunderbuss to rocket forward. And so I'm quite happy leaving him okay. as is, but I believe that the other characters could be updated. Donkey Kong is the easiest to update, with a very bare basic moveset that has barely changed since Smash 64. For his smash attacks, I would make his down smash similar to what his down special is right now, but with a bigger shockwave. And for his other smash attacks, why not use more of the animal buddies from Donkey Kong Country, like on guard for a side smash, or throwing a minecart at people for his up smash or something. The specials is where I'm going to improve quite a lot, as I will be mainly trying to represent Donkey Kong Country Returns here. For his neutral special, it will be the same wind up punch, but the more wound up it becomes, when you hit an enemy, it will become like the finishing move, where if you press it multiple times, you will deal a lot more damage to an enemy caught in his grasp. The longer the wind up, the longer the chance for you to press that button. His down special, literally the most iconic thing in Donkey Kong history is picking up a barrel, which can then be thrown using A at any time. Sometimes he will pull a TNT barrel, which will explode upon hitting as opposed to just rolling. His side special, using the barrel rocket, which will stagger up and down based on how you angle the stick, and it will explode at the end. It will then add nicely to his recovery. His up special will be using the barrel cannon in a shot upwards. It is a much better recovery, but also leaves him fairly exposed on the way down. For final smash, instead of using Donkey Konga, you could keep that. But why not have the bit where he punches the moon onto the Tiki boss from Donkey Kong Country Returns? Now, Diddy Kong I have updated with a much requested update that you wouldn't expect. I've combined him with Dixie Kong, similar to how he was represented in Donkey Kong Country 2 Diddy's Conquest. They work similar to the Ice Climbers, but you can choose the main Kong you want to control as the main body from the character select. The main gimmick here would be swapping between the main body Kong, and this could be done using the two shield buttons pressed at the same time to swap to the opposite Kong. If the secondary body, so Diddy if you're controlling Dixie, is KO'd, then after a few seconds a barrel will turn up and you can grab that and throw it at an enemy to then respawn Diddy. Their moves will act similarly with some differences for some of the specials. When you're Diddy you'll keep most of his aerials and jabs, but you'll add in some extra hits from Dixie behind him. Also, though Dixie wasn't playable in Donkey Kong 64, Tiny Kong follows the same archetype, so I will be pulling from her as well. If Dixie is the main body, her primary attacks will be swinging with her hair for jabs and tilts. Dixie's aerials will make either use of her hair or jamming out on a guitar with the sound wave. For your smash attacks with Dixie, it would be nice to make use of the cannon roll for the side smash. Dixie's down smash could also be using Ratley to spring upwards or Squitter to place webbing down, which would also stun opponents. Diddy also could use some of his DK64 moves, such as the Chimpy Charge and the Simeon Spring for his side and up smashes respectively. For neutral specials, the Peanut Gun and the Bubblegum Pop Gun are still quite useful to use based on who is the main body. The down special, the main body will pick up their partner and throw them across the screen for much better fighting ability and more range, similar to like Rosalina shooting out the Luma. Your side special will be summoning Rambi and he will smash into things a bit like Wario's bike. 
It is possible to randomly also summon Ellie the Elephant and Expresso the Ostrich to vary how the move pattern works. Dixie's up special will act similarly to DK's original up special and will have a lot of the same hitboxes. But if you're Diddy, you could have squawks and you could fly in the air with a couple of extra presses of up B to make him fly just that little bit higher. Victory screen, please use the rocking out for the stage clear. Final Smash should be jam out using either the DK64 music pads or the Donkey Kong Country 2 stage clear as reference where both Kongs rock out with two guitars and a boombox to damage all enemies within range. But there's one extra character I would like to represent and that is Crankle. Attacks and aerials will use the cane as you would expect, even the double cane from Donkey Kong Country 2. But you could also pull out like the phonograph and the coins which represent his roles in the country games. Also, the bizarre denture pop gun could be used from Donkey Kong Country Returns too. The side smash could be using a barrel to smash an opponent, his back will hurt in the animation. His down smash could be using the cane corkscrew. His up smash could also be throwing a TNT barrel in the air which explodes. His neutral special will be dropping an oil barrel and a little flame will come out and run around on stage, which will reference the arcade Donkey Kong and his origins. His down special will be the cane hop, where you can jump around three times with very decent damage and hitboxes. Side special will be throwing a potion, referencing Donkey Kong 64 where he was a potion shop vendor. You can throw potions in different arcs that sometimes leave little hazards on the stage. His up special could be inflating and flying with a one-up balloon that bursts at the end. end. Final smash, Cranky drinks a potion restoring his youth, becoming old arcade DK. They will then jump on the steel beans like the arcade game at the beginning causing damage and all players who are caught in his range will take structural damage underneath him. Other costumes that would be nice for DK using his boxing gloves, his striker's charged outfit, he could look a bit more like a mini, he could also have an alt of Chunky Kong and Funky Kong. Diddy and Dixie could vary between having Kiddy Kong, their striker's outfits, maybe even Donkey Kong Jr. Dixie could also be Tiny Kong, K. Rool, you've got to have the Captain K. Rool, K. Rulenstein, and the boxing K. Rool outfits. Possibly even a clump outfit. Cranky Kong, I mean, is probably going to be the scientist Cranky from DK64, or maybe even alts of Wrinkly Kong and Swanky Kong. There is a massive missed opportunity for music in Donkey Kong as well. We need Forest Interlude and Aquatic Ambience as a remix, Fear Factory, Mining Melancholy, Big Top Bop, Hot Head Bop, Treetop Tumble, and Rock Face Rumble, as well as DK Isles from Donkey Kong 64. It's been 10 years since Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze came out, and I'm really hoping that there is another Donkey Kong game coming out soon. It's about time we get another game, which would definitely help with the representation in Smash Brothers.